This disclaimer was copied without permission. Cheers, Quaffer Scuffle Swigger Sibbers and all other good people out there. Hops Watch here. And there is time for celebration. However, I don't really feel like it. And even though this is going to be a double jubilee video, it's also going to be a bit serious. Today we'll have... So, Limfjörs Porter. That's a local brew, quite renowned, at least here in Denmark. And this is a special edition that is matured on oak casks. So the double jubilee, so to say, celebration is that this is actually beer number 1200 that I am reviewing on my blog. And also I am celebrating that I now have more than 500 subscribers on YouTube. Spiced up with licorice. Beautiful brown foam over a completely pitch black brew. Both very bitter notes of coffee, wood and dark wood, oak more than anything, which isn't weird considering that this is uh, oak matured. And also there's the scent of licorice. Ah, this is good stuff. Yeah, so the serious topic for this uh, video is why my production of videos has its ups and downs. And that is due to the fact that I am at this time struggling quite a bit with the depression. And that is due to me being unemployed as I have said in the earlier video, it really gets to me when I'm unemployed. And I guess it's mostly because of, of almost... I guess it would be because about 10 years ago, from 10 years ago until 8 years ago, there was a period of, of about 2 years where I was unemployed. And that really wore, it wore me down to an extent where I, I actually feared at the time that I, I had PTSD. I haven't been diagnosed for that, however, and after all, I don't think it's that bad. But what did happen, for sure, was that I, at that time, started suffering severely from depression, because even though the conditions for being unemployed are not the worst in Denmark, one never feels completely secure when you're out of work. I've got my benefits and I'm very, very happy to have them. But I know also that I can work and I want to work. So you quickly start feeling superfluous, not needed, stuff like that. And that's one thing that makes me depressed, that I have to rely on benefits instead of, well, making my own money and making my own living. Another paradoxical thing is that, in principle, in the, at the moment, I have all the time in the world to do the things that I want to do. I can review more beers, I can make more videos, even on, on other topics, uh, something that I, I, I actually enjoy a lot. But I can't seem to find the energy, because the unemployment is constantly nagging and just draining my energy away. Also, there's some rather strict rules about what I can and cannot do. I had planned on starting a Patreon, for example, which I have had to postpone because if I start making money off Patreon, it will be, be deducted from my benefits, which is actually all right, but I don't know if it will count as working hours because that is usually what it will be exchanged for. If you make some money it will count as some hours but I don't know if Patreon money would do that 
and in all circumstances it will be one hell of a administrative burden that I really can do without. I hate doing calculations, I hate filling out forms and it's making me depressed just to, uh, to consider going through that. So I guess I'd rather not. Good thing is, uh, some of the meetings that I've had with the job centre and with the unemployment agency, uh, my employment insurance, so to say, actually have been quite positive. M much more positive than I remember they were back in the days, uh, the last time I was on unemployed eight years ago. So that's good. Maybe I shouldn't feel so so depressed as I do, but it, it really gets to me. And it's something, I guess, that you can't really control. Uh, the paradoxical thing that it actually is stressful to be unemployed is what gets to me the most and which drains me of energy the most. The thought of being unemployed and not really know where you're going with your life is really the worst. Now, returning to the more merry things, the beer. Intense woody notes. Actually, I let this uh, mature in um, in a couple of months. Actually, about half a year. Usually, strong beers like these. This is 8.2 by volume. It usually helps a bit to uh, leave them for some time in the bottle. At least, it usually doesn't make them any worse, and I don't think this has taken any damage by that at all. It is the full experience of the. Leanfuels Porter as I know it, with some heavier woody notes. So the, the woody notes are, are more in the front here, where usually it's the licorice notes that, that burn through more. Gives it actually a heavier, more rich feel to it, which I feel adds to the brilliant Porter stout, if you like, that this uh, beer already is. So an, an improvement of something that is actually very good already. And I mean, who wouldn't like that? Let's give it a solid five. Cheers to uh, all my subscribers. I'm so happy that you want to uh, follow the things that I do here on my YouTube channel. Uh, cheers also to those who uh, follow my blog. It's in Danish, so there will be limitations on how many of my YouTube subscribers will be reading that bit more serious, a bit darkish even, some people might say, <laughs> sorry about that. But it is what is happening right now. I am fighting depression due to unemployment and I want you to know what I'm struggling with because if you like following my work and you're wondering why nothing more is happening, well, that's why. Usually peaks on Mondays starts on Sundays, peaks on Mondays, on Tuesdays usually it gets better and it's it's not it's far from as bad this week as it was last week so I'm recording this on Monday by the way where I feel uh, not pretty pretty much under the weather still uh, able to actually record and that's at least something so I'm, I'm trying to focus on on the positive things if everything goes well, Shane Iskrig is coming over. Uh, he's uh, from the ACA. He's the host of the Atheist Vanguard show. So that's going to be great. Not much else to say right now than um, always remember to drink responsibly. And until next time. Cheers.